how to upload digital products on Etsy for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm giving you a tutorial in which I will be showing you how you can upload your digital product on Etsy.com to sell. So let's get into it. First of all, you're going to go to Etsy.com and you will land on this marketplace right here. We know that Etsy is an amazing e-commerce that allows us to sell digital and physical products as well. Today, we will upload a digital product. So for that, you're going to simply sign in to your Etsy account. Make sure you have a seller's account on Etsy. If you don't know how to create a seller's account, there is already a video on this channel that will teach you how to get started with your own store on Etsy. So once you sign in to your Etsy, this is where you will get. Now you can see at the top, we have our shop manager. You can see on Etsy, the digital products are trending nowadays and it's a really good opportunity to upload a digital product. So for that, we're going to go to our shop manager and then we're going to go to our shop listings and upload a new product. So you will click on add a new product and it will take you right here to create a listing. So let's get into it. First of all, we have to upload the photos of our product. Now, keep in mind, if you're uploading a digital product and it's a painting or something like that, then we cannot just, you know, upload the product here. So for that, we use mockup images. You can create mockup images on Canva or any other platform. So it's a painting, then the mockup image is going to be like the painting on the wall and how it looks. So here we upload the mockup image. So I'm going to quickly do that. Let's say this is the mockup image for my digital art. So we'll upload here. We can upload up to 10 images here. Again, mockup images for a digital product. Now we're going to scroll down to the video section. Now, this is where if you want to upload a video about your product, if it's like, you know, a software, it's like a file, a planner or something like that, then of course you can just, you know, upload a video here and the video should be um, a 5 to 15 seconds and the maximum size can be 100 MB. Now we're going to scroll down to the listing details. Title. So I'm going to add the title. For me, it's a printable wall art. So that's what I'm going to add like so. Then we have uh, who made it. So I'm going to go with I did. What is it? It's a finished product with a digital art as well or a digital product. We go with a finished product here. When did you make it? So now, sometimes if it's uh, a digital product that you're going to make after the order, then you're going to select this option or you can go with recently or you can go with any of the, you know, years from here. So I'm going to go with recently. Then we have category. Now in category, what you're going to do is this is the category of the product. Here you don't need to add like digital or anything like that. It's a wall art. So I'm going to go with wall art here. There you go, wall art in digital prints. Now, this is the category that uh, I'm going to select. Moving on, we can scroll down to the colors. Now, this is where you can select the color, the secondary color, width and height, orientation, and the framing as well. Uh, if it's in art, then I suggest going with the framing and, you know, orientation, width and height here because this will give your customers a detail about the art they're buying. So, this one is important. Uh, so uh, for now, we can leave these options. You can see these are all optional. These are not mandatory. We can scroll down to these options that are the most important options when it comes to a digital product. So the first one is a renewal option. Now, each renewal lasts for four months or until the listing sells out. You can go with automatic, but it will cost you 0 0.2 USD or you can go with manual. So for me, I go with manual and I will renew my expired listings myself. Then we have type. Now, this is where you need to select physical or digital so here we're gonna select digital now this is the most important option because if you select physical here that means your product is physical or you can select digital a digital file that buyers will download so we're uploading a digital file moving on description now this is where you add the description of your file for me i'm gonna write the word description for now and we can fill this in later uh, production partner. So if you have a partner, you can add it here. Section tags and material. Now, tag is an important part on Etsy. So you can add up to 13 tags here and you can add like shape, colors, styles and functions. So here we can add tags such as digital art. Then I'm going to go with wall art, printable. Uh, then I'm going to go with like styles and shape. 
so i'm just gonna add different tags and you can also do some keyword research for this because this will help your product rank higher and this will work in the seo so uh you can add as many tags as you like but the total should be 13. then we also have material so this is where you can add the materials that you have used for this product now we're going to scroll down to the inventory and pricing so keep in mind you do add the pricing for a digital product here uh, so we're gonna go for our pricing so i am selling mine for 22 dollars uh, this wall art quantity is going to be one now this is where you can add the sku this one is only for you the buyers don't see this option personalization now this is also an option that i would like to show you guys because a lot of time there, uh, we make these digital products on demand or these are like, uh, you know, print on demand products and we have personalization options available if it's a picture, if it's a painting. So you just enable this option from here at the top, instructions for buyers, personalizations options, character limit. This is where they add the characters are buyers and then you will have this option. If you do not want to go with this, there is no personalization for me. Because I'm selling a wall art, there's no personalization here. I'm going to turn off this option. Now we're going to scroll down and this is where you actually upload your product. There is no shipping here. Keep in mind, for a digital product, we don't have to add the shipping options and anything. We upload our product here because it's a digital file. Upload file and you can add up to five files here. So I'm going to click on upload file and upload my main art here. So I have uploaded the file. You can see it's um, uh, the file should be in a, you know, any form if you want to go with a PDF, PNG, JPG. So it totally depends on you. So uh, I just have one file. So I'm just going to go with this. Now we're going to scroll down and just we have return and exchange. So this is where you can upload your policies if you want to. Other than that, uh, this is it. You can see all of these options. And now you can scroll down to save your product or you can preview your product as well and it will simply list your product on etsy so you can see this is how you upload a digital product on etsy it's really easy to do you can go to etsy.com and create your own account and after that you can upload your product the way i showed you it's really easy you need a file and then make sure to select the digital product option so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question 